All right, let's start down here on the F note again. Okay, uh, since we're not starting on the root note, which is G, you can consider this a pickup note. Okay, whatever you do beforehand is a pickup note. All right. Okay, and that's the whole phrase right there. It just repeats two more times. So. Notice I'm adding, um, I'm adding that flat five, the blue note, okay? So I've heard. Okay, and another suggestion. When you're descending, instead of going... That sounds kind of weird. Uh, because we're in the G, you want a resolve point in, in this scale. Now going, ascending up, let's go ahead and hammer on that, that major third from the minor third. So. So that connects the first shape, the second shape, to the third shape. Okay? Sounds really cool, right? Now let's demonstrate, I've made a super cool backing track. Uh, the first backing track here is like 10 or 15 minutes long. Okay? And I suggest you just put it on a loop and spend all day with it. With these three shapes and the vertical scale and then that horizontal scale that I just showed you, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just just vamp my way through this. I'm gonna show you the vertical scale first. Uh, well, not first, I'm gonna show you uh, the vertical scale connecting all three of these and then that last scale that we just did. Okay, and what I'm gonna do that I, I hope to inspire you to explore and work on this, um, your phrasing. It's, it's the most important factor that sets you apart from a guy that plays scales, a guy that plays any kind or any style of music. It's all in your phrasing. And what makes country country is technique. It's using double stops, triple stops, uh, more open strings and things like that, which we'll get into in other videos, and I've already kind of touched on in other videos up to this point, all right? Um, so phrasing, and let me give you a quick example. That last scale. Here's phrasing. That's, that's deleting notes, that's using timing, time distortion, you know, uh, playing quarter notes against sixteenth notes with triplets in there, and all that is in the encyclopedia of soloing and, and what's inside of, uh, of a guy's brain that, that knows how to get around the fretboard really well. And we'll, we will cover all that stuff. And um, I think we're on a good track already. So pay attention to your soloing. Just do every every scale. 
skip around, you know, but know that scale in its entirety first, all right, and all these vertical and horizontal movements, all right. And w let's just stay in G for now. I really just want you to understand how one key is connected to all these notes, okay? Because when you begin to understand how to transpose this stuff, that's when it gets so easy. You're like, oh my God, it's the same exact thing two frets up as an A. And, and some of you already know this. You know, I'm here to help the guys that uh, was like me. I really wanted somebody to give me a system like this. And this is just my 16 year old uh, system I came up with um, when trial and error and learning these licks and, and learning how things are connected and things like that. Okay, so now we're gonna fire up the G vamp backing track and I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna try to do it systematically for you a little bit, you know, each scale and then the connecting scales, okay? And and then as, as the track goes on, something magical happens, it's called monotony and you get tired of just doing scales, you'll start exploring and experimenting and play some bad notes here and there and, you know, maybe not pull off that, maybe hammer on that and uh, skip that one and pull it off. You know what I mean? Bending, things like that. Hopefully, uh, I'll go through enough of this track to where you'll hear some of the, the musicality in these scales.